Clouds that fly on the wings of a young bee's dream that flew too far away. Don't rush to fly, your dreams are a tiny bear in a plastic bag. And Alex is gonna review it on Beer Review for David Pugh. Tonight on Beer Review for David Pugh, it's Tsingtao Premium Lager. Alright, Dad, so um, we've got the Tsingtao Chinese beer, which you may, have, may or may not have remembered from the WhatsApp chat, or maybe there's other people who aren't that watching this who don't know about this, but apparently Chinese beer is frequently sold in bags and i'm talking like carry bags stick the um they set up the keg in, in the in the bar and just take it home in a bag and drink it with a straw so that's um this is so weird Let's try it out well no doesn't taste nicer out the bag or out the bottle I can see him equally bad at pouring um, <laughs> pour beer bags as they am in, into glasses. That's just uh, made a huge hell on it. And of course, you drink it with a straw. I suppose the head doesn't last them, does it? That's really fizzy. Tastes more normal out of the bottle. This is just totally weird and it's really awkward to get the straw in the right place. I just don't see the appeal at all. It's difficult if you want to put it down somewhere, like you're scared of it just kind of flopping over and spilling. Um, I just don't understand why you wouldn't sell it in a, in a cup or a bottle or something. And I don't think it tastes as nice. It is definitely nice from the bottle. Maybe maybe it's a Chinese thing, I don't know. That, you know, that they prefer the beer in a carrier bag. I'll be back after this intermission. Beer review, Pewee, number one super guy. Beer review, Pewee, quicker than you human eye. Who is the superhero? Sarge? No. Rosemary, the mild mannered telephone operator? No. It's David Pew. I tell you one thing, it makes me want to drink it quick because I know I can't really put it down. Um, and, and it's a lot flatter as well than it was in the bottle, so I'm just worried it's going to get sort of warmer and flatter the warmer it goes. It's, um, it's quite an unpleasant experience, really, drinking out. It, it, it is nice lager otherwise, but just <laughs> drink it out of that. There's just... So I actually just did a little bit of research, and apparently... The people who work in the brewery uh, for Tsingtao are actually partially paid in beer and because of that they sell the beer on the street to any more money and when they sell the beer they sell it in plastic bags. It makes sense, you know, if you've um, been given a keg as part of your wages, you're not going to spend out on glasses or bottles or something, you're just going to get a load of cheap carry bags, sell on the street, and apparently they get sold in 1.5 pint. Is that right? I think that's what it said, 1.5 pint servings, and you either drink it out of a mug or, didn't mention drinking it out of a straw, but um, with a straw, but all the photos that I've seen on the internet, people drinking and drinking using a straw. Well, the initial um, being freaked out by it, 
and the we just sort of <laughs> it's, it's sort of the floppiness. Um what am I thinking? I don't know, maybe I'm thinking it's like just reminds me of a, a bladder <laughs> flopping around. Um but <laughs> that has subsided and I'm enjoying it a bit more now. It's um it's a good balance, it's like nice balance between dry and sweet, which I which I like. Probably would have enjoyed it more if I drank the whole thing out of the bottle. I have saved the last bit. Until I'll drink in the shower later. Um it's a good one. I'm gonna give it eight out of ten if it's drunk out of a bottle, and I'm gonna give it Six and a half out of ten. Six and a half David Pews out of ten. Uh, if you're drinking out of a carrier bag. If I ever go to China, I would love to go and buy um bag of beer off, off the street. I think I think it is cool. Um but I would be doing it again at home. Cheers, Pew. <laughs>